Hey everybody, it's Michelle Stimson, warriorwives.club. Thank you so much for joining me today. Listen, today is my 25th wedding anniversary. Yes, August 28, 1993, my husband and I said I do in Little Church in Grand Prairie, Texas. So I want to say thank you to um, all of the people over the years who have poured into my life. I want to thank God because it's definitely a testament to his grace, his love, his mercy. Listen, today also marks the 25th um, no, not 25th. I'm sorry. Today marks the relaunching of my website, warriorwives.club. Let me tell you something. I have been trying for years and years and years to get myself organized enough to minister to wives on a regular basis. So let me just say, I covet your prayers because this ministry to wives, it is so passionate. I'm so passionate about it. I have had hope for wives. I have had wife talk podcast. I have had all kind of wife stuff. And for some reason or another, things have come up that have caused me to have to move things around. I switch websites, I switch computers, and I'm now I got a Mac and then I didn't have them. I mean, it's just all kinds of stuff going on. And then a little bit of procrastination and other things have come up over the years. But I covet your prayers because it is truly my heart's desire to minister to wives on a regular, consistent basis. I probably need some help too. So inbox me if you want to be on my team so we can do some stuff together. Um, I'm on Facebook, warriorwives.club. And some of you are already my friends on Facebook and I'll get my email. So let me know if you want to be part of what God is doing um, to minister to the body of Christ with, with eternal consequences. So I thank God for you if, he, if God's putting it on your heart. And I thank you for those of you who have been with me all this time. Like, what's she doing now? Why, why she done moved over here? Trust me. The, the, the mantle that the Lord has given me for this has never gone away. Even when I play around, the Lord is like, all right, we're going to do it today. Okay, Lord. <laughs> He's so good. He's so patient and kind with us. But let me just tell you. So this is my 25th wedding anniversary today. But it has not been what I thought it was going to be. So let me tell you, it actually, the problem started yesterday. And I know I have talked plenty of times about how to watch out for those times that should be good and the enemy coming in and making them not so good. Well, I wasn't on watch yesterday. So my husband and I were sitting down talking kind of a little bit about politics and a little bit about church. And it did not, the conversation didn't go well. And so we ended up kind of having this, this like a little you know, fussing, I'm going to call it. So the last word came from him and I did not like the last word. I just, it just, it just shut me down. And so that was yesterday. So we, you know, we don't usually go to bed mad at each other. I don't even know that he knew I was still upset to that extent. Um, but I actually just kind of shut down. So I go to sleep, I wake up, you know, and in, my, in the back of my mind, I go, this too will pass. I mean, we've been married 25 years. Surely we're not going to have an argument and, you know, have this big, huge falling out. We have weekend plans coming up for the anniversary. Right now, it's, you know, it's Tuesday. It's the middle of the week. We both worked and we're both tired. So we're, we put all the plans off for the weekend. But so anyway, what I did today in my, so like I have forgiven him. He's forgiven me. I feel like I need to reset though. I feel like, I feel like I'm still in my feelings. <laughs> That's what I really, really, for real, for real feel like. And so what I did today, honestly, as I was getting ready to relaunch warriorwives.club was to go back and listen to some of the things I have told myself over the years, you know, about marriage, about what it means, about the good days and the bad days and the sunshine and the rain and all these different things that I've told other people. I need to hear these things myself because a part of me thought that once you got married and you were married 25 years, you would both know what not to say to one another and you would both go, um, oh, she don't mean that. Oh, he don't mean that. It, and like it, I guess I thought there was going to be a day when it was like, oh yeah, it, psh, smooth sailing. But you know what? We're still growing. We're still people. We still have feelings. We still have, um, other things on our mind sometimes and you, you're tired, you're hungry. You know, you have to deal with your flesh. You still have a flesh, no matter how, how much of a believer you are. And, and, you, and, and you are in Christ and Christ is in you, but the, the flesh still has to be subdued, right? So 
I went to warriorwives.club and the relaunched site and I began to listen and just build my faith back up. It wasn't even that I did it. The word began to speak to me and talk to me about a lot of things that I just forgot over these last three or four years since I did the wife talks. I think I did the wife talks. I don't know, maybe five or six years ago. A lot of people that you may know are on there. I got Tia McCollars. I got Ella Curry. I got uh, Tiffany Warren on there, um, my friend Jane Knight, and several other women who have been married for quite some time. I brought back their old uh, audio recordings that we did. Some of them um, had been missing in action for a while. As a matter of fact, let me just take you to the website. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, so I love that couple's hands because, you know, my goal is to minister to the body of Christ and that people be married for a long, long time. Um, and that I can, I can encourage people that even people who aren't married or people who are afraid to get married will look at this site. will see, you know what? Um, it really isn't about me. It, I know marriage is important, but let me just tell you, when people were asking Jesus, well, if this person's husband dies and then she gets remarried, when she gets to heaven, who's she going to be with? Jesus was just like, it's not that serious in heaven. Like you're married to me. <laughs> really, at the end of the day, we're, we're married to Christ if you're a believer. And so while marriage is important, I have come to this idea that marriage is actually a training ground for you to learn to love harder than you ever have before, for you to learn to forgive and be patient and kind and long suffering and, and pull out gems and other people that they don't even know are inside of them. Um, I think everybody gets a chance to do that. Even if you're not married, you get a chance, you get a relationship. And I blogged about that today on the website. There is a relationship that God will give you. Somebody will give you an opportunity to practice loving the way Christ loved you. And, and the thing is, you're also somebody else's somebody, right? <laughs> so it's not like there's like, there's these people that don't get along with people, but, but then we're all people, you know what I mean? So this is something that we all get a chance to do. So this website, if you look at it again, is um, two hands that um, have, Older hands, mature hands. The Bible tells us that older women are supposed to be teaching the young women how to be wives. And so this is what I hope to do with warriorwives.club. I'm not necessarily a senior citizen yet, but I'm older than somebody. Um, so we've got, um, if you haven't joined warriorwives.club email list, go ahead and get yourself on there. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got a blog, which again, I just shared with you uh, my latest blog post, which had to do with the 25 year anniversary and how today was not what I thought it was going to be, but it is a day in the life of a 25 year marriage. You're going to have some good days. You're going to have some bad days. And then I have the about page, which has a little picture of me and my little husband. Um, if you want to get in touch with me uh, for speaking and things like that, that is also on the website. Um, resources. This is what I really want you to see. The audio of the conversations that I had with so many women. And then there's a little, some teaching at the end about, you know, I, I'm not in love anymore. That's something that uh, women sometimes wake up to that realization. And I don't feel like I want to free you from this obligation to be enamored with your husband every single day. And then I've got, I didn't sign up for this. You know, sometimes people get married and you just find out all kind of stuff after you get married. Like, I I actually had somebody who married and then found out both. They both found out later that he had a child and she was just like, I went through everything I could to not marry anybody with kids. And like, that was, that was a deal breaker. Like she wouldn't date men who did, who had kids. And then she married him and then out pops this child who was like eight or nine years old. And she told me, you know, I, I did not sign up for this. This is not something I wanted to do. So when you get married and you find out that there's stuff that you didn't know, you still got to deal with that stuff, right? And so that's what that one's all about. So these are for real, for real conversations with women. Um, I remember one time I was getting ready to have a conversation with somebody. And she was like, I'll I don't think I can do it today because I don't have anything good to say right now. That couple is still married, you know, but like I said, you got your, you got your days where it's just like, this is the best thing I've ever done in my life. And I have had days where I've been like, this is the worst decision I ever, ever made in my life.
period, was to get married. Like I have had that day. That day came for me somewhere between, it was a lot of days, between year three and probably eight. No, I'm going to give it to 11. Anyway, all that to say, these are real life things that I have had conversations with people about. And I actually plan to have some more of these for real, for real conversations with people who have, who have split up for a while, come back together. I have a conversation on here with a lady who has been twice divorced and she was divorced at the time of this conversation, talking about what she, what she understands now that she wished she had understood even in her first marriage and they could, they might've still been together. So those are there. And then you've got a couple of books that I've written on the topic. Um, War Room Strategies, of course, is for anybody who's trying to learn how to pray strategically. And then we have Married for Five Minutes, which I wrote with Shandria Perry. Um, 25 um, scenarios and then counselor's commentary after that. And then we've got the Wife Academy. Oh, i got to put my description back up here. That is a class, a free class, actually. Um, it says buy now, but actually you could um, you could go to the class for free. It really is just open to whatever the Lord gives you to give. And if it's nothing, then it's nothing. And if it's something, then that's great. But either way, you need to go to the class. If you know nothing about being a wife, if you are getting married or in a marriage where you're just like, I grew up with a single mom and I don't know anything about this. He grew up, he has a dad, but that whole thing over there with them, like we have no model at all for a lot of us have no model for how to be married, what that even looks like, um, let alone a godly marriage. So the wife Academy, that's what that one's all about. And then I've got links to some other videos, um, that I'll be putting. I have more videos on my YouTube channels too. So anyway, that's what's there on the resources page. Um, if you would like to share any of um, any gift that you want to give to keep the ministry going, you know, the websites, the video and all that kind of stuff costs money. It is, I'm willing to make the investment, but if you would like to, sew, that option is there for you as well. And then finally, um, how can I receive Christ? I mean, I think a lot of times we take for granted that people know Jesus, uh, my best friend, and hopefully your best friend too, um, or somebody that you know, hopefully you're showing somebody or leading somebody or just sharing Jesus with other people. Um, I want to make sure that if you're visiting my site, that you know um, what it means to be a believer and to accept Christ. So to receive Christ, actually. So that's what's on the website, y'all. Um, I hope that you will enjoy it. I'm going to go back downstairs now and say hello to my husband um, and try to get back sweet again because we do have this weekend coming up and um, you know that's just how it is sometimes in a marriage you have um, somebody has to get over their feelings and it might take them 10 minutes or it might take them a day I mean this is kind of a long uh, it's almost been 24 hours and I'm just like because mm. you know when you when you try to act like you're mad at somebody then you got to remember that you're mad and you're going to walk into the room and you you want to say something you're like, oh, no, I'm not talking to that person. Like, that's a lot of work. <laughs> that's a lot of energy. And I am too, I'm not old, but I'm too old for that. And 25 years is way too long to be married, to still be acting like you've been married for like, what, two weeks maybe? I don't know. That's some foolishness. And I'm not going to be foolish. And I'm not going to tear down my marriage with my own two hands. I'm going to build it up, right? That's what we do. Build it up. So get yourself over to warriorwives.club if you're in a rough season. We've got some, um, I got a tape on getting through infidelity, some hard, hard things that lots of marriages are in. Um, and if even if your marriage is an awesome, awesome marriage, I hope that you will let me know. Email me, inbox me. Let me know how that works for the two of you. Um, I listened once to um, Victoria Osteen talk about how their marriage was, it's an easier marriage because she just married to an easy, I mean, Joel Osteen is just an easy guy to get along with. And you don't need to go around comparing your marriage to anybody else's marriage because you might not be married to an easy person to get along with. I'm not. And he will be the first to admit that as much as I love my husband, as much as I, and I love my husband in the sense that just like the scriptures say, I am patient. I'm kind. I'm long suffering. I keep no record of wrongs. I always hope. I always trust. Like these are, when I say I love my husband, I say I, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7, him. I don't just mean, oh, he makes me happy. He gives me butterflies. I, I'm telling you, these 25 years, 
has been a proof of that scripture in my heart. It has been the Lord working me. I mean, it has brought, it constantly brings me to the end of myself. It is, it has been the best thing that could have happened to me. But I'm telling you, it has been a chain, a daunting thing. Not so much because I'm a hard-headed person, but because it has taken that level of surrender. So anyway, pray for me. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to get over myself and um, enjoy my 25th anniversary. One way or another, I'm going to be praying myself right back on track and uh, trusting that the Lord is going to uh, continue to pour his love into my heart by the Holy Spirit, by Romans 5 and 5, because he said that he would, and I pray that for you as well.